everyone! So today I'm going to tell you all about what I'm taking with me to Sri Lanka. So this is my first Asian trip, well to that part of Asia and I'm doing it solo. I'm so excited. Still scared a little bit, although I planned and planned, but you know, it's the first one into that part of the world and it's just a bit different than what I'm used to because I've only been traveling, you know, in the Middle East, um, Europe and America, so it's gonna be an adventure. Packing for Sri Lanka, I had to keep a few things in mind. So I wear a headscarf and I need to cover up my body, you know, the classic Islamic hijab kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's, it's a hot country. It's going to be possibly a monsoon season, so it's hot possibly raining and I still need to be covered up so I thought of a few outfits that could help me while I'm there and could give you some of uh, some ideas. The best way to pack is to plan your outfits beforehand so yesterday it was like a fashion show for my mom I was like changing my clothes and like putting out different outfits just to see which hijab I want to wear, like a headscarf, and which shirt I want to match with, with which pants, and so on. So that way I'm like organized before I even go on my trip. Let me show you what I plan to wear. I'm taking jumpsuits. I think jumpsuits are a great like alternative for um, you know being a job because usually jumpsuits have like super light fabrics, like check this one out it's like super light it feels like you're not wearing anything which is great and it's like trouser type of thing so it's like your legs are not going to be exposed which is great so the like jumpsuits are great for activities well I think they are although the downside is when you're going to the bathroom you might have to take the whole thing off not cool but regardless um, if you don't go to the bathroom a lot it's it's a great idea for you. Um, the problem with jumpsuits, they're sleeveless. So it was a struggle of going and finding a light cardigan that is not see-through. That was not, you know, it wasn't the easiest thing. So I'm matching my new look jumpsuit with a cardigan that I just found in a, in a cheap store. I'm not really sure like if you guys have the same brand. It's like it's called Splash in Saudi and the thing is all my hijabi clothes are back in London so coming to Saudi I wasn't even prepared I wasn't even planning a trip and now I'm like okay so I'm going somewhere hot and I need to pack nicely because I want to vlog and I want to vlog as well so I want to take nice pictures with really really cute outfits but still have to observe the religion so we'll see how that goes so I'm going orange with like my cardigan and the jumpsuit. When I tried it on, it all looked really cool. And I'm doing a lookbook afterwards, so don't worry. I'm gonna show you all the outfits in action. But I just wanted to show you what I'm packing before I go. Packing two jumpsuits, that's number one. And then another floral one. I'm also packing two maxi dresses. Let's see. And they're all like floral patterns, that way you have like in stores. One day when I hand tailor everything I wear, I'm going to choose like something a bit less crazy than all these insane floral patterns, but for now I'll just be the flower girl. This is another maxi dress. The good thing about this maxi dress, it actually has long sleeves. Like that in its own, it ends a lot of my struggle. Um, with the maxi dress and the jumpsuits, I'm going to wear the same light cardigan. And I'm packing two light cardigans as well. So I will be like mixing and matching between all. And the good thing about wearing a cardigan and like a maxi dress or a jumpsuit is like you feel ventilated because the air will be coming in. It's better than wearing something underneath um, where you might feel like stuffy and it's like it's kind of restricting your body and everything although saying that I still packing um, a long sleeves cotton shirt well it's not cotton but it's like one of those super light long sleeves shirts you know that you find them as they're called basics usually in like different clothing stores and I'm pairing them with like t-shirts 
So I'm taking three t-shirts, um, but I'm just going to wear long sleeves, very, very, very light shirt underneath. Ta-da! And my last one, it was like made in UAE, which kind of, I thought that was really cool. Than the usual, you know, made in China and whatever. Three shirts, I'm wearing the same long sleeves shirt underneath and the same um, very light pants. So I'm not um, over packing like something for everything, just that. It's great that you could mix and match between the clothes that you already taken with you because that way you could create a new look but without over packing. Okay, the major thing I'm kind of worried about are my head scarves because they're like your hairstyle in a way and they could, like the color you choose, could impact the whole outfit and you know, I don't want all my pictures to look the same so I'm packing five different um, scarves which I'm really worried that will be, you know, considered over packing and I should actually just pack two but I'm doing it for the sake of the pictures. So I'm taking different ones. Let me show you. I'm taking a, a very light orangish colored one. A red one because, you know, you just need a red scarf in your life. Purple. Uh, the purple one would go with my hijabi swimsuit as well, which I will show you in a little bit. And then crazy green then bright blue, beige, and obviously the very basic black. It's like, you need a black scarf, you never know, everything else could get dirty and black would fit with all the other outfits. Um, I'm also packing socks, my electronics, and since it's the monsoon season, I'm taking my umbrella and a light um, raincoat. Like, it's super light. These two will stay in my pack pack. Um, okay, now let's talk about swimming outfit. I know you might think I'm crazy because I wear a headscarf, but I love swimming. I love the beach, I love water activities, so I'm packing a hijabi swimsuit which is it's it's referred to as burkaini which is like bikini with burka which is I don't know who came up with that but it's kind of funny I find it funny but those ones they never look good well when I wear them I look hideous so this time I'm going for an, another alternative which is a long sleeves a long top that's um, made with like for water it's like the fabric is water fabric and I'm wearing like um, kind of legging type uh, water pants with it these are like the pants they have like little purple this is why I said the purple scarf would fit because I'm gonna like kind of try and do a wrap up with the with this scarf so it doesn't like dangle over like when I'm swimming or something um, and then this is the black top that I got with it it's very modest um, and I'm hoping it will turn okay when I wear it I'm also packing um, sports leggings just in case I'm gonna go do some workout or activities or whatever cameras medicines I got some like basic medicines like Panadol cold whatever um, just in case I get sick because when you're sick you don't want to like make a trip somewhere or if you're like in a deserted place and you're like oh my gosh I'm, I really just need a Panadol um, it's handy to have it in your bag I'm packing my um, chargers and everything some accessories not a lot just like few of the long necklaces I like to wear because at least they show when I'm wearing a headscarf so it's like there's like all that area that I could just wear a necklace and it will look nice I'm only going to wear like um, walking shoes and pack maybe with just one flat everything that I'm taking with me I'm planning to only take on carry-on and I'm going to link up a um, packing checklist down below.
So if you found this video helpful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!